Hi everybody, it's Maud here again and welcome to your deep stretch class that is focused on twisting. Twisting is so good. It's so good in the sides of the body, it's so good for the spine, and it just feels like you're wringing stuff out. Um, so in this class, as you can see, I have my bolster and my two blocks behind me. If you do not have any of these, just grab a pillow or a thick blanket in lieu of the bolster. And then anything um, that you can put your hands on in lieu of the blocks. But today we're just going to keep things sort of low to the ground. So we're actually going to start here in hips to heels. And if this is too much for you, you can always sit on a block or sit on something, or place something between the hamstrings and the calves. We're going to sit here, hips on heels. You can separate the knees out a little bit, and plant your hands towards the ground. And then keeping your um, fingers spread, you can always put your hands on blocks as well. Otherwise, on the ground. We're going to do some neck rolls as we're here. We're just kind of leaning forward. Starting to realize that taking things slow on these neck rolls is the way to go. And maybe doing three, four times on each side. Beautiful. And then just tuck your chin towards your chest. Find that nice length in the back of the neck. And slowly come to center, keeping your fingers spread. We're going to do our cat cows right here on our knees. So as we inhale, you drive your heart forward. You arch your spine, and then you look up. And then exhale slowly around your spine, using those hands to push your back towards the wall behind you, really puffing up the middle back. Inhale, cow pose, arching the spine, driving the heart forward without over lifting that chin and then exhale slowly round your spine like you got poked in the stomach and just do this a couple more times and it's always good to start the spine in this flexion and extension before we do any twisting it's just an articulation of the spine that is just generally healthy for us to do every day Flexion and extension, twisting left and right, lateral bends, which we're all going to get to into today. Now one more time here. Beautiful. If you want to lift your hands off of the mat just to shake your wrists off, that's fine. Otherwise, we're going to find ourselves in this quadruped, or hands and knees. And I want us to just swing our hips left and right to start. This is always a good way to kind of start um, in your quadruped as opposed to getting into poses right away. Just loosening up the lower back. Come up to center, fingers spread wide. Slowly walk the hands towards the right side of the body. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, push your hips to the left and drop your head. Inhale back to center, just look at your hands, and then exhale slowly, push your hips towards the left. One more change, your right hand reaches towards your left knee, and then you get a cup, that left knee with your right hand, and find a nice twist right here over to the left. Inhale back to center, hands down. Slowly walk the hands towards the left side. I'm actually going to face you this time. So you can see it all the way to the left. Find this nice rainbow stretch over here. Inhale it all in. And as you exhale, push your hips to the right. Nice stretch on that right side. Inhale back to center. And as you exhale, slowly push the hips to the right side. Drop your head. One more change. Left hand grabs your right knee. Slowly find that twist over to the right side. Keep pushing the hips to the right, really opening up that right side. Beautiful. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Slowly come to center. Walk your hands to center. Come into your hands and knees once again. Place your right hand um, behind the head and spread your fingers 
and poke your elbows out to the side. And almost like there's this energy of the hand pressing towards the head and the head towards the hand. So you find a little bit of integration and energy there. And as you inhale, you slowly lift your right elbow up towards the ceiling, and then exhale, just come back to center. Just look at that spot on the mat, poke your elbows to the right side. Inhale, open it up, and then exhale, slowly come back. Beautiful. Inhale in. Exhale, center. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Inhale, open up. And then exhale, slowly tap your right elbow into your left wrist. At least that's what you want. Inhale, open up. Exhale, slowly tap. Beautiful. One more time. Inhale, open. And then exhale, tap. One more change. Inhale, lift the right arm up. All the way up. Find that twist. And then exhale, needle the right arm underneath the left armpit. Inhale, rise. Exhale, slowly needle. One more time. Inhale. And then exhale. This time, land the right side of the shoulder down. I'm going to look away from you. I apologize. You can leave the, leave the left hand in front of your face. You can walk it forward, but keep your right palm up facing the ceiling. You can kickstand with that left leg, whatever feels good to you. I'm going to face this way just so you guys can see what's coming. Keep breathing. Walk your right hand to the left one more inch or millimeter. Finding that nice stretch on the shoulders. And then slowly place your left hand in front of your face. This time we're going to roll ourselves more on the back, so much so that our neck is going to react. And then exhale back to center. What I don't want you to do is to crane your neck and make this a neck experience. It shouldn't. You're going to push your shoulders down, roll more onto your back, exhale center, keeping your left knee down. We're just going to do it three more times. Let it feel sticky. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale, roll back. Using that left hand as a leverage. Exhale, back. Beautiful. One more time. And then exhale. Using this left hand, slowly come up. Lift your right arm up to the sky. One final twist. And then exhale, come back into your quadruped and find a nice um, cat cow right here. So in your cat cow, same thing, you're going to sag your belly, lift your tailbone, lift your gaze, and really open up the chest. Taking the time here, exhale, rounding the spine, tucking the tailbone, dropping your head. Kind of respecting the pose, respecting the experience. So you truly appreciate what's happening with every inch that you're curling in, with every inch that you're arching the spine, making this a journey. And then slowly come back to center. This time, place your left hand behind the head and really spreading those fingers. Again, there's this energy, head pushing to the hand, hand pushing down on the head. Neither one of them is winning and poking the elbows to the side. And inhale, slowly open up that left elbow, up. Exhale, just back to center. This is my tight side. I don't travel much here. Inhale, open up. Exhale to center. Keeping the hand underneath the shoulders. Inhale, open the elbows. Exhale. Beautiful. One more time. Inhale. And then when you exhale, you tap the left elbow to your right wrist. Inhale, open it up, using that right hand to push you up. Exhale, tap. If you can't tap, pretend you want to tap. Inhale, open up. Exhale, slowly tap. Beautiful. One more time. Inhale, open. And then exhale, slowly tap. 
This time we're going to open up our left arm. Maybe the neck can follow the hands. Exhale, needle it through the right armpit. Watch that you're not speeding this up, you guys. Inhale, spread all five fingers of that left hand. Exhale, hover. Beautiful. One more time. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale, slowly plant the back of the left shoulder down. Again, you can kickstand on this right leg. You can lengthen the right arm forward, whatever feels good to you. I'm just going to lengthen my, uh, my right arm forward. That's comfortable for me. And my left palm is flipped up towards the ceiling. Left side of your face is down. Maybe your left cheek, your left temple. Mm, breathe through the left side. Final breath right here. And you slowly place your right hand in front of your face. Get those palms down. The next inhale, we're going to roll onto our back, or most of our back. Watch that this right knee doesn't lift off of the mat, and watch that you're not hurting your neck. But push down on that shoulder, roll back a little bit, exhale, center. Inhale, you can find this ringing feeling on the sides of the body, exhale, center. Do that three more times, or four, whatever your number is. Make sure that you're inhaling as you're rolling back and you're exhaling as you're coming forward. Beautiful, one more time. And then exhale. Using this right hand as leverage, gently push yourselves up, lift your left arm up, find that twist. Exhale, quadruped. Couple of rounds of cat-cow, zip up your belly muscles in the front of the body. That way you're not dumping in your shoulder joints. Just slow and controlled here with your cat cows. Enjoying this moment and really sort of appreciating the fact that we can really take time and make time to do these poses. And like truly enjoy them as opposed to just going through the motions aimlessly. Everything with intention. Last time here. And then slowly come back to center. Place your bums directly on the mat, or if you want to sit on something, it could be thick blankets, whatever you have, could be your blocks, if you want. I want us to get our feet forward about hip width apart. And as your hip or for, hip, uh, feet are forward, hip width apart, find these nice windshield wipers left and right. Really sort of taking the time to really drop those knees down. Let me move my props aside. Beautiful. Maybe two more times on each side, listening to the lower back. Beautiful. One last time. The next time you drop your knees to the left, I want you to lift your right arm up and reach towards your left. Drop your right arm down. Drop your knees to the right. Reach your left arm towards the right. Beautiful. You guys get the deal. Left hand down. Knees to the left and then reach. This time we're going to start to reach, like really reach, like lean your body forward. And we're going to do that three more times on each side. That's why this is called a dynamic deep stretch because we do feel a stretch, but we're going to be mobilizing and moving around a little bit. Two more times. Reach, reach, reach. One more time on each side, please. And then slowly reach it over. Beautiful. Shaky shake with those knees, small windshield wipers. <sighs> nice job. 
This time we're going to drop our knees to the left and find a deer pose. Deer pose is when your right leg, this is me mirroring you, your right leg is in like in this perpendicular um, direction and then your left foot is closer to your left glute. So you're kind of in this shape. Now place your right hand down and kind of like what we did before, reach your left arm over to the right. And then bring it back in. I want you guys to squeeze your shoulder blades towards the spine. Spreading those fingers, making this a little bit active. Inhale, left arm reaches to the right. Reach, reach, reach. Mm. Inhale. Exhale, reach it through. Inhale. Peel your heart forward. Exhale, reach it through. Last time. Inhale as you squeeze a shoulder blade towards the spine. Exhale to reach, 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 reach. Four, three, two, and then slowly come back. This time you're going to bend your left leg in. And then the right foot wants to be closer to that right booty. If your shape is different than mine, please honor it. Have a blanket, have something underneath your right booty, whatever makes you feel comfortable, but the right booty is going to be lifted up a little bit. It just is going to. Plant your left hand down. And this time we're going to make the upper body move, right, and not the lower body. So slowly reach your right arm to the left. Oof, this is my tight side. Inhale back in. If you want to make a fist, that's fine. Just squeeze the right shoulder blade towards the spine. Slowly exhale, reach towards the left, squeeze it in. As you reach towards the left, you're protracting your shoulder blades away from the spine. As you're coming in, you're squeezing it towards the spine. Beautiful, reach it forward. Maybe last two. Always, always, always moving with the breath. Reach out. Mm, exhale, reach. And then slowly come to center. Shake the arms. Come into a nice, easy pose. Hands just going to be on the lap. And we're going to start to do these torso circles, noticing just how maybe open your lower back feels this time then how you felt throughout the day. If you have a job that makes you sit behind a desk for a long time, you'll notice how tight that feels during the day. Please reverse the motion. And when we do these twists or deep twists or dynamic twists, it's just always good to kind of find this opportunity to move the spine and also the muscles and tissues around the spine. Such a nice feeling right here. Come to center, crossing, sorry, shifting the shins, whichever one you went. <laughs> Inhale the arms up. Exhale, place your left hand on your right thigh. Kickstand this right arm behind you. Open up the right shoulder and find a nice twist over on the right side. Inhale, try to find length in the spine so the energy is upward on the inhale. And on the exhale, pretend your belly button's traveling towards the right side. Chest is open, back of the neck is long, and the breath is slow. Inhale back to center, reach the arms up. Exhale, right hand to your left thigh. Kickstand this left hand behind you. Try not to hurry to twist. Really open up that left shoulder and find this nice liberation in the chest so it doesn't feel restricted as you exhale and twist over to the left. Again, sitting nice and tall. Beautiful full inhales and exhales here all the way in. And all the way out. Nice job, you guys. Slowly come to center. Now grab your a bolster or your pillow or your blanket. And then place it like so. If you have an extra yoga block, if you have an extra prop, 
feel free to place it on top of the bolster or your furniture. We're going to come into that sort of deer pose once again. And you can plant your left hand down um, on the uh, right side, oh, sorry, on the left side of the bolster. And if you notice that um, my left leg right here is too close to the bolster, and you just know that it's, or not too close, but it's too far from the bolster, and you just know it's a little too far to twist that direction, feel free to just get that bolster a lot closer to you. You can plant your right hand down. On the next inhale, I want you guys to really lengthen that spine. And as you exhale, you're going to slowly crawl into this furniture, this twist. And what I want us to do is I don't want us to just get there. I want us to prepare the body, prepare the body for where it's going so it's not shocked, right? And once you're here, you can always place your temple, your left temple down. And then plant your both elbows on either side of the bolster. And breathe through it. Notice how your neck is reacting. Notice if now that you're on a furniture, on a prop, that your breath is a little bit slower, which is a good thing. If you have another orientation in the legs that feels more comfortable to you, if you want to stack your knees or whichever shape it is that you want, you can feel free to do so. Flip your palms up so your fingers are not tempted to hold on to something like the mat. Letting your fingers go, taking the opportunity since we're not really holding cell phones or keyboards right here. We're giving our fingers a chance to just relax. Inhale. On your next exhale, you may turn your forehead towards your prop, like so. So you're looking down towards your, your prop. I have my microphone here, so I can't really, <laughs> I can't press my microphone towards my prop. So I'm just going to stay right here a little bit upright on the yoga block. And knowing that my neck is safe, there's some length there. Remembering to take full inhales and exhales right here. Inhale all the way in. Exhale all the way out. Last time, just like that. The breath is so important. If you're holding the breath right here, you won't really feel a release. And we're just making shapes here, which we really want an experience in these twists. You can stay right here if you want. If this is plenty enough for you already, you can just leave your forehead down. Otherwise, if your neck is ready for it, you can always turn your body towards the uh, r left side. You can rest your head on top of your bolster. Remember, put something on it if it's too far. If it's too low down, I want you guys to feel safe and supported. And it makes this pose sustainable. Deep inhale in. Exhale it out. Beautiful last time. And then slowly come back to center. Forehead down. Press your palms down. Gently lift yourselves up. And without a hurry, you can just leave the bolster where it is. Have your hands um, outside the hips and then your feet in front of you. You can find your nice windshield wipers if you want, if that feels good to you. Other options would also be just being in this sukhasana or easy pose and just finding nice cat cows right here. You can do both. But I definitely felt uh, more on the right side. It basically resonated on my right side of the body. And that could be different for, for you. You always have your own story, your own background, your own condition. And you may feel it in other places as well. 
I just hope it's not on the face. We don't want, you know, our jaws to tense up and all that. So, okay, we're going to transfer the bolster over to the right side. Finding your nice deer pose right here. Your right leg is bent, left foot close to the booty. I'm going to have my yoga block ready. We have sort of dynamically prepared our body for where it's going because this is a deep stretch. This is definitely a deep pose. So I want you guys to face the right side already, placing the hands on either side of the bolster. And like I said, on an exhale, just slowly crawl your way down to your furniture, down to the prop, finding this nice wriggling. It's like something is unraveling and you just want to be slow about it rather than just drop into that pose. And this I'm going to place my right temple down, flip my palms up so I am not tempted to hold on to something. And this is the perfect time to find your breath. In case there are any visual distractions, if there's something in your mind that's just bothering you and keeping you away from having a peaceful practice, just remember it's still going to be there. It probably is still going to be there after this practice. So right now, just honor your time here. Honor this moment. Anytime you're ready, and not just because I said so, like when you really feel like you're ready, then you can have your forehead pointed down towards your prop. Remember, you can always just have something um, between you and your bolster and your pillow. Just making sure that you're not hurting your neck. Notice even the orientation of the neck and the head definitely affects the depth of your wrist. I'm sorry, of your twist. Not the depth of your wrist, but your twist. How are those breaths, guys? Full inhales in. Exhale it out. Inhale right here. And only when the body is ready and only if the body can accommodate and allow, you can always get rid of that prop and slowly find this nice twist with the left side of your face down towards the prop without forcing it. In fact, you're letting gravity do its job, but you're just not yanking the body to get there, to get in that shape. There's absolutely no competition here. And in fact, the one who gets here the fastest, maybe not, not be able to relish this experience. And it becomes just a shape. Feeling a nice feeling of surrender as you exhale. Taking in something vibrant on the inhale. Slide your hands on either side of the bolster. Forehead down. Gently push yourselves up. You could find that nice windshield wiper with the bolster on your lower back behind you like we did before. You can come back to your nice, easy pose. Cat cows. Just find a nice neutralizing position here. And then slowly come to a nice seated position. You can sit on a bolster. You can sit on a block. This is actually how we're going to end class today is to be seated. So you can cup one hand over the other. You can place your hands on top of your thighs. Now I want you guys seated because I really want you to feel the difference in your side body, your energy. Maybe you feel a lot more space, a lot more ascending energy from the waist up. And maybe you feel more grounded from the hips down. So everybody, please close your eyes or keep a soft gaze. 
ending class with gratitude, hands pressed together to the heart center, and maybe bowing down towards your hands. Appreciating this time, appreciating the ability of the body to be able to do a million different things every day to keep us on this side of the dirt, and also appreciating what we can do, these twists, these bends, all these beautiful things that we do in a yoga practice. Just end this with gratitude. And I thank each and every one of you for taking this class. Thank you for making time to take care of yourselves. Have a good rest of your week, everybody. Thank you so much. Namaste from me, from me to you. Have a good day, everyone. Bye for now.